and welcome to my channel. And if it's not your first time, then welcome back. I'm really glad to have you here. What I want to share with you today is how you can get back into singing if you've had a long break. Now, this might be because you life just got in the way and you just haven't sung for years or haven't sung for months and you want to get back into singing. It could be that you had an illness or injury. If you have had an, um, some kind of vocal injury or any kind of operation around your throat, before you do this, I recommend that you see your GP or doctor or whoever has been working with you and make sure that it's safe for you to start singing again. So I'm gonna give you some tips and some guidance and we're gonna do a warm up as well. If you are serious about getting back into singing, first of all, I do recommend that you take my free five day singing course. Um, that you can find in the description or in the pinned comment. Just click that link, put your details in, and I'll send that directly to your inbox. And of course, remember to like this video, <laughs> hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell so you can get all of my future videos. And there's lots in here. There are hundreds of videos on my channel and I'm continuously making more because I wanna help every single one of you. But the first thing that I recommend is that you commit to singing practice for at least four days a week. Now, that doesn't have to be an hour every day, every time you practice. It can be about 20 to 30 minutes. 45 minutes or an hour is kind of optimum. You don't wanna do any more than an hour, especially when you're just getting back into singing because you don't wanna strain your voice, okay? Now, I've seen, there have been many people who have thought, do you know what, it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna dive in, I'm gonna do as much as I can. And then they message me, they say, do you know what, I did an hour and a half, now I can't sing for three days. Haven't been able to sing for the last week. Don't do that to yourself, it's not worth it. 20 to 30 minutes, if you can't do any more than that, but you wanna do 45 minutes to an hour optimum, if you can only manage that four times a week, three is okay, but I would recommend four. If you can practice every day, absolutely fantastic. When you are practicing, make sure that you're listening to the sounds that you're making and you're noticing how things feel when you're singing because there are lots of different things going on when you sing. I also recommend that you record yourself. Audio is good, video is better. And if you're cringing and you're thinking, oh, I don't, I don't like the way my, my voice sounds when it's recorded or I don't like seeing myself on video. Well, if you're serious about singing, you're just gonna have to get over it. I'm sorry, there are no two ways about it. I can't wave a magic wand or give you a magic pill that's gonna make you feel comfortable. The only way to get comfortable is to do it. If you could see my first videos, like if you go back, if you go into my, <laughs> go into my channel and go to videos and you sort it by, um, by date or by oldest to newest, and you look at my first videos, when I watch them back, I don't quite cringe, but I'm like, oh my goodness, you can tell that I wasn't, I wasn't quite so confident. I didn't quite, I knew what I was doing, but I wasn't as practiced. Everything just comes down to practice. Now I still make videos that aren't the best and some of my videos I'm really, really proud of, but that's not the point. The point is the more that you do it, the better you're going to get. The best way to get better is by looking at where you are now, observing it non-judgmentally, but critically so that you can move forward. Okay, so criti critiquing and criticism isn't always negative. You're going to positively critique yourself. Oh, I didn't do that so well. How can I improve it? What other videos of Carrie's can I use to help improve? And when am I going to, going to practice it? Choose one technique and work on that for a week or two until you feel that you've got it again, until you feel that you're confident and comfortable with it again. There's no point going back and forth and getting it like It's good to be excited. If you're anything like me, I used to get excited, try this thing, try that thing, try this thing, try that thing and get nowhere. You're going to make much more progress, much more quickly, if you choose one thing and you stick to it. Next, either come back to this video and keep using the warm up here, or choose one other warm up, maybe two, that you're going to use for the next couple of weeks. The reason that I recommend that is that A, you're going to get familiar with it and it's going to become easier to do, 
you're going to build muscle memory so that you can then think about the techniques that you're using rather than learning the different warm up or the different exercise each time. And you're going to build confidence because you're going to see progress. After a couple of weeks or once you feel comfortable, choose one other technique and work on that for a couple of weeks. You'll start to remember what you used to do, especially if you've had vocal training before. Your muscles, your brain, and your body is going to remember what you used to do so that you can go back to it. I promised you a warm up, so here it is. We are gonna start with a lip bubble. And we're going to start here. If this is too high, take it the octave down. And we're going to sing. is the major scale and we're going to sing it to the sound E and we sing
exercise I'm going to call this space exercise and uh, you'll understand why. So we're going to sing it to OO and we're going to sing. Now if I were to finish it off it would sound like this. Hence the space exercise. I'm not calling it anything else for copyright reasons. I'm sure George Lucas isn't going to stumble across this and sue me, but I've not called it that anyway. <laughs> so here we go. And. to get the control first and then we add vibrato once we've got the control. Now a lot of vocal coaches in their videos they will they will add vibrato and that's that's fine but I want to show you the right way to warm up your voice and to do vocal exercises. So let's come back down and going to help you all it does is make you feel like you're singing but you're not actually training your voice so nice straight notes straight onto the note straight up the slide onto the next note and down the scale the next exercise is hey and we're going to sing down the major scale so we're going to sing hey okay this is going to create some movement, make us feel like we're singing without straining our voices. So here we go. into how to get back into singing after a break. 
Do take my free five day singing course if you're serious about singing. And if you would like to have singing lessons with me, then go into the, the description box, find where it says book a singing consultation, get yourself booked in, we'll have a chat. It's about 30 minutes. I've got a couple of slots left at the moment at the time of publishing this video. There might be a waiting list by the time you, you come along. But if you're watching this a couple of weeks after um, I've put this out, then there will probably be a slot or two left. I am working with some singers who have found me on YouTube, so it is possible. Get yourself booked in, we'll have a chat, have about 30 minutes, make some silly noises, probably some silly faces. I'll listen to you singing and we'll see how we can work together. Get yourself booked in. I'll see you in the next video. Stay hydrated. Ciao.